Oh my lord. Could that be? Is it? Do I think it is? <laughs> I do believe so. I actually had to look to see when the last time we played this was. And it was the last video uploaded from the series was January 23rd, 2014. Which I think now restarting it in June kind of puts this series at nearly a year in the making. I think we started it in July of last year? Give me one second to look at that. Okay, not quite a year. It was September that I started playing this game, but a year and eternity, tomato, tomato at this point. We need to get back to the Lemmings because I've kind of shirked it for a while because as I stated in Chuck's challenge that I posted on... Uh, I, yesterday, as of this recording, I don't know when this recording will go up, but I had kind of this lone gunman mentality, as I was talking about, with regards to solving puzzles. I wanted to solve everything myself without help, and as it turns out, this is the game that broke me, that made that extraordinarily difficult. And uh, uh, we will try to do more of, the, more of the crowd involvement. If you want to help me solve puzzles, if I can't figure something out, I will try my best to leave it up to y'all. I will also, of course, try my ultra best to solve things. But we are going to start today with one that has been solved for me, and that is how to prevent a mass suicide. Uh, I was going to play this. This was the first level of an episode that I filmed way back in the day, but then I couldn't figure it out. And then weeks upon weeks passed, and I still had not solved it. And I was just kind of like, well, and that's when we went to the uh, extra and then to the one levels and then I got stuck on straightforward in one that's a level I still have not quite figured out uh, I may post that one at the end of this video uh, because I would like some help solving that one so we may just jump around to whatever we can solve uh, as the case may be but hurricane is where we're starting today we are going to prevent a mass suicide and I don't know if y'all have seen this level but some of you have looked at it I think and I assure you the solution is going to melt your mind. You have to save 100 lemmings. Uh, well, 100% of the lemmings. There are only 50 of them. So we are going to, let's see, 50%, 50 saved, 100% to be saved. 99 release rate, 2 minutes. And they start from here. Okay. All right. Here we go. I have, I have seen the future. I have seen how to do this. I assure you, I am a professional. So let's see. They will walk off into the of into the acid here but I need a guy to come this way we have two climbers we're gonna need both of them we're gonna need everything that this little little this little level offers us cannot get to this one I tried a few times you tried a few times to get to this exit and you can only save 98% coming this way you can get close but no cigar on that one this is the exit we are heading to right here I'm sorry that I know how to do this one uh, it is a change of pace from the usual uh, extrapolation of the thought process as we go, but it is what it is, as they say, whatever that really even means. Okay, we're going to make our first guy a climber. He's going to come out, and we're going to set, okay, we're going to set a blocker. No, I set the blocker too late. Shoot. Yes, it's still, it's still a process. Don't worry. It's still insanely difficult to pull off. Don't you worry. But... We're going to set, I need to set my blocker somewhere on steel because we're eventually going to mine. God dang it. <laughs> God, wow, we, wow, we, I am as rusty as some of these steel patches. Holy mother. Okay, let's, okay. All right, let's get it rolling. I do remember I have replay, but it's not really worth investing in replay at this point. There we go. There's our walker guy. Okay, so we're going to get him going along the way here. He needs to build over the acid. He needs to not eat the brown acid, damn it! Also, it doesn't really help that I kind of hate this song. <laughs> it Something about it gets on my nerves. It's way too uh, derp-a-derp, I guess, for lack of a better word. Okay, we got to get a guy going to the right now. We want to we wanna mine our blocker out. How far back can we go from here? I think that should do it. Okay, we need we need now the first guy in the batch... We need to make him a climber. He's going to climb over this wall over here. You're going to see how this all pans out in just a second. Uh, um, wait a minute. You freed him, so maybe, maybe he is the one who needs to... Oh, wow. Oh, shoot. How did I do this now, then, the first time? That's 
That's lovely. Uh... Okay, um, let's roll with it for now, I guess. Well, no, he can't climb out now. I have done something wrong here. Uh, maybe I need to go view the replay. Although, I will show you how this kind of starts to get going here. Okay, you go over, and then you are going to build over the exit, little Mr. Man. Yes, you are. They're all going to walk, and they're... They've got a bit of a buffer before they start plummeting toward their drop. Yes, this is the exit we're going to go to, and this is how we are going to do it. Some of you can already sort of get an idea of what's going on here, as they touch this little piece of land right here. Uh, I have not worked something out correctly here, though. We'll work it out. We'll work it out, though. So I guess this guy needs to climb and be on his way, then. Huh. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, I've got to basically free the blocker while the dude is mining. And I have to put him out far enough that he can accomplish that. I think, let's try from about right here. So we've got one guy going out now. And now he's going to chop up a tunnel here. Okay, and when he gets to the next, when he gets to the next hit there, we're going to make him a, no, don't make him a climber now. That's a disaster. We want to make him a climber now. There we go, yes. Okay, we've chomped a hole into the... Okay, yeah. All right, and now everybody turns around. That's how we get our 100% out of the way there. Okay, now he's going. I got to be a, keep a watchful eye on him. Make him a climber as well. All right, now he's going to build over the exit first. Okay, he's going to build over that exit. They're still going to be able to get into it, though. Or they should, anyway. And now he's going to build over his exit as well. All right. He's going on his way. They're going to meet up in this little sliver right here. This is extremely ingenious. Also extremely hard to pull off from the looks of it. Okay, yeah. They've got plenty of space there. No! He went too soon. Shit. But that is more or less the general gist of it right there. And then he goes on his way to his exit. So that is how you do it without the floaters. That is how you prevent... Well, we prevented mass suicide, but we did not prevent all suicide, which would be ideal. So, yeah, uh, yeah, gonna have to figure out how to pull this off. I, that timing is, oh, that timing is, okay, now he's climbing, okay, let's see if I did this right this time. Oh, wow, he is, uh, oh, he's on his way to hopefully not bouncing in the exit town. I may have delayed that a bit too much there. Oh, oh, boy. Okay, so now you need to do the same thing. Hopefully I gave them the space they need now. I'd rather not have the suspense involved, so let's just have them. Okay, and let's have him go a little bit backwards from it. Is that, no, they don't touch it, dang it, ugh! I was hoping, because if you get too much against the wall, they might not touch it. But then I was trying to get away from the wall to prevent that very thing. Doggone it. Man, this is tough. Okay, he's definitely the first one in line. So, let's hopefully... Uh... Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh, that is tough to do. Boy, you gotta trust that wall, though. There's a lot of trust involved in that one. That was just... See, that is a sneaky level. He should be proud of that one. Oh, man. That stumped me for... That solution was actually sent to me by a guy named Simon Lawrence on February 14th. So that's how long I've chickened out of playing this game. Almost exactly one, two, three, four months to the day I've chickened out of playing this game and actually pulling that off and moving onward. For those of you who now want to figure out exactly how proportionally angry to be at me for not continuing this game. But that is the 100%. That is how you beat how to prevent a mass suicide. That was the level that drove us to play all those crazy extra and one levels, which we still, you know, we still have yet to get through those. We're not, e we're not even halfway through the one levels. Dang, boy, it did not take long to stump the old Uncle Roundy, did it? Well, we can move on, though. We can move on with our lives now, finally. We can we can execute the great breakout. 80 Lemmings, 
Got to save 93%. How does that break down? That breaks down to one limbing at that rate is 98% and then 97 and then 95 and then 93. I think I can kill four limbings the way it, I don't even have to like do actual math. I can just break down how limbings does it. That's how long I've been playing this. 75 release rate, three minutes, three minutes to attempt the great breakout. And the fewer tasks you have, the generally the easier it is to get it. Okay, so we got to, whoo, there is quite a bit of steel to go around here. Uh, ooh. Okay, so we have to find the path that they can all execute from. Ooh, golly, this is... Okay, how can I use what I've got? Let's see. What's the music that plays, first of all? That will be a big factor in my thought process here, how it jogs my thoughts. Ah, that's not the worst thing I ever heard in my life. It's very, it's very breaky outy. No digging, but we do have bashing. That's... Do we get any? To, are we gonna need to get a guy up into here somehow? Let's see. It's possible. Possible that a guy may need to go up into th this region, because if we mine down from here, huh? If we mine, I wonder if we mine here, would we hit steel eventually, or would we get to a good part there? Because I think we're gonna need a basher over here. How are we going to get these guys out? How are they going to break out, though? Uh, maybe we need to just meet in the middle somewhere? Because we got this preventing us from just digging and bashing through to most of the end there. So... Wow, there is a lot getting in these guys' way. Maybe they need to... Okay, they can't take the chain up to the... Huh... Well, hold on. Okay, let's, uh, let's, all right, let's take this, let's take this higher. Okay, let's go, let's go ahead and bomb for now. We're going to keep them in the hole. I, th I think I'm going to come down this way. Where do they fall down at? That's good. Okay, that's actually, that actually really is suited to my needs, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's see how far we can get with this then. Um, how far can we get here? We have four climbers. Gonna have to use them somehow, I think. Um, but how? I think I see how we're gonna use the two builders. I'm gonna go ahead and have a climber. Well, I didn't want to raise the release rate by one measly portion. I didn't want to do that at all. Okay, I'm going to have something happen here. Alright, let's see if I can get this to work the way I want. Okay. We're going to make our climber build. Okay, and then we're going to have a walker. Okay. I don't know if this is correct, but I'm just working it out. I'm just working it out on the floor. That's going to make the climber builder turn around. And that's going to get them enough out of there. Oh, wow. That's actually kind of beautiful. And from here, no, 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 no. No blocking. Let's go ahead. I think they're all walking to the right, but but now I now it's kind of hard to figure out where I want to go from. Uh, I can't I can't actually get individual limbings the way I want them. Let's go from about here. I think I'm going to end up hitting this, which is not what I wanted to do. I think he's going to hit it and he's going to quit. Yep, he hit it and quit it. That's not what I wanted to do. But that does get all the limbings into one spot. Now, just to figure out how to... Now, just to figure out how to... I could, theoretically, plow through here. And then we could bash at a certain point, like, say, here. Did I just waste a basher? Son of a gun, I think I did. I wanted the miner to do the work. I wanted to mine, like, right under here. Then maybe we could get up and bomb and bash, but then that gives us no way to get through. Yes, it does. It gives us a way to get through here. We still have one of the miners, but we have no builders. Oh. Ugly, ugly, dirty business. Yikes. Just realized I've been hiding my cursor the whole time. That's pretty awesome. Uh... I started hiding it during Chuck's Challenge, although that's honestly a game I could probably use the cursor being on screen during, too. 
Although, I don't know. I, I just figured it would be kind of a distraction. I don't even freaking know. Okay, so here's some things i figured out so far. I don't know what I'm really rambling about. Let's go up here. It takes two bridges to get up here. This is not a guarantee that this is where these bridges are supposed to be used. However, if we pause, I see that we have a big, juicy vein that we can mine through going down here and also down here to free these guys from their little V-shaped enclosure. There's also this big chunk of oil drum in front of the exit so I'm pretty sure we're going to have to use a basher right here but we're gonna be we're gonna be kind of in experimental mode for now uh, I still am not really much closer to figuring it out I think okay but I do know that we can uh, let's see where is a uh, there's a guy walking to the left let's make him a climber and then let's have him bomb okay we're gonna have him bomb for reasons so that reason mostly so they can just walk over that little hump all right so if we start from here we're gonna hit steel so yes I'm going to use a basher for now again purely in experimental mode at the moment and also this might take a long time to do so I don't really know how effective this is as a solution in the first place what the hell did you do that for you big piece of snot all right yeah that's that might be a little far out but that's more or less where I wanted to get I hope he doesn't coincide with the steel there although if he does I can just show off what I'm trying to show off anyway but I want him to get down. oh yeah he'll be fine he'll get down to here and when I have a guy turn around here see this is where things become problematic because for one thing I haven't used any of my climbers and I'm sure there I've used one of them great one climber has been used I'm sure I'm sure he's very happy about his lot in life so yes I get down here Let's see, I get down here, and then, and then how do I, how do I free the slaves? Let's see, where, where are we going to construct this underground railroad? Because see, I, you have to bash through this. You bash through that and people get to the exit. Hey, we have people getting to the exit, how about that? That's amazing. But we have to save 93% of them, which means uh, pretty close to all of them need to be saved somehow. And anyway, look how much time we're wasting with this solution. So I don't know if it's really the right thing to do or the right way to go about it. So I'm thinking maybe these little guys have to be... I'm thinking these guys in the V have to be a little more proactive somehow. How many did we get in here? We got 48. Uh, we ended up... Oh yeah, we killed that guy. So we didn't quite get to 50. But we're getting there. But this is juicy. This nice, ripe, juicy vein of brick that you can mine through and I feel like it's involved in some way it would be even better if I could get up here but I only have two builders It'd be even better if I could get up to this point and start mining from here because I feel like you could well I don't know I feel like I could kind of manage it but I don't know how to get anyone up there yet and that is the rub is it not I don't know what's I don't know what's going on here I don't know what the shakedown is but Will I run out of time, or will they all explode first? They'll all explode first. Okay, here we are. We're on replay mode. Brian helped me figure this out. We put our heads together, and I was on the right track, but he helped me workshop it and put all the pieces together. So here we go. This big V right here is part of the solution, as is these little guys down here taking a little bit of a bigger role in things. So we're going to do... This guy's climbing right now. He is now our walker copyright. He's going to copyright, and we're going to bomb as he climbs the wall a little. This has to be very exact right here. This is very, this is some punishing precision, but as soon as he turns around, you need to build. There's no other way you got to build as soon as he hits the left side of that notch. That gets them going up this way. Now, we're going to use our second builder. We're doing a down, along, up sort of bargain here. We're going to build upward, and then we're going to set. We got a guy coming along here. We got plenty of guys coming along, so the timing is incidental and fine and fair. So he turns around and gets around to this. Now we do the walker climber thing again because we need to get past this steel right here. If we don't bomb, we can't get past the steel because we're, not far, we're too far back and we'll hit the steel. So we're going to go on forward with this. And uh, I don't want to touch anything. The replay is kind of nice. The replay helps me. The replay helps me. I can uh, I can commentate as I figured it out. But I was pretty much more or less on the right track. 
I just needed that little nudge from an outside perspective to help me out here. We're mining to all the way through here, and the time is a bit of pressure, but really you end up having more time when you're done with this level than you think you might. And we, we're going to end the level on about 10 seconds or so, with about 10 seconds left. There is some pressure to perform here, but now that we've got this guy mining, we are going to send some of our V guys out to do the job here. We're going to send out two climbers. We have two climbers left. We're going to send them out. There we go. There is our bomber. He's going to bomb pretty much close to the wall here. Close enough so that the miner will stop when he's done with his duties. Now he's going to climb and we're going to have him bash at the bottom of the little bomber hump here. The bombers make these weird oblong holes that are kind of hard to work with actually. But I don't know if they I don't know if they're shaped the, and then there's our basher over there of course. But I don't know if they're shaped the same way in limb mini that they are in regular lemmings. I would have to look into that, but I feel like they weren't quite as oblong in regular lemmings. But that pretty much sorts everything out right there. We've got bomber, bomber, we got we used all four bombers. We have a blocker, and then the basher is going to sacrifice himself like in that uh, warehouse level, I think is where we use that particular device. And then they walk on to the exit. You just got to have more than one person working at a time. You got to have two teams working. You can't just have one hero Lemmy go bump, bump, and then bump. You got to... There we go. There they all, they all file in, and we end with 93% on the nose. And yes, that was a... <laughs> yes, that was a rough level indeed, but time is up and we are spot on. So next time we're going to be moving on to level 12 and the the need for help is uh is really squeezing in. I will try to notify you when possible when I need help with something cuz it's going to be it's going to be a sticky wicket from here on out and I think I'm going to need to get by with a little help from my friends. So so the Pima limbs might come out at a trickle, but that's better than nothing for the past six months, essentially. So next time we will uh, keep trudging along. And if you remember what, uh, if you if you uh, remember that we ended on straightforward in the extra ranking. Uh, no, this is the one ranking. Here we go. We got through a few levels of one, and then we were stumped by straightforward. Uh, if anyone wants to take a whack at solving straightforward with me, then uh, maybe offer up your suggestions or hints if you know how to beat it. And I will see you guys later on. We are continuing with the Pima Limbs officially when we can, which is better than not at all, I think. See you guys.